peer-to-peer -peer network concept. Peer-to-peer, -peer, or peer-to-peer P2P in its shortened form, refers to computer networks that use a distributed architecture. This means that all computers or devices that are part of it share the workloads in the network. The computers or devices that are part of that network are called peers, or peers, and the individual device is called a peer. Each peer is equivalent to the other. There are no peers with any privileges over others, and there is no central responsible device in the network. In a way, peer-to-peer -peer is the socialist system in the political and social sense of computing. Each peer is equal to each of the others, and has the same rights and duties that apply to others. Peers are clients and servers at the same time. Furthermore, every resource available in the network is shared among peers, without the contribution of any central server. Shared resources in a P2P network can be things like processor usage, disk storage space, or network bandwidth. The purpose of a peer-to-peer -peer network. The primary purpose of a peer-to-peer -peer network is to share resources and help computers and other devices. Work cooperatively to provide a specific service or perform a specific task. As mentioned earlier, a P2P network is used to share all kinds of computing resources such as processing power, the range of the user's internet connection, or hard disk storage space. However, the most common use case in a peer-to-peer -peer network is sharing files on the internet, as it is the ideal and most appropriate field for this purpose. Because it allows the devices connected to it to receive and send files at the same time, let us consider the following situation as an example, PINA, web browser, and visit a website to download a file from it such as an audio clip or a PDF document. In this case, the website acts as a server, and your device acts as a client that receives the file. You can simulate this situation with a one-way row. The file you download is a vehicle that moves from point of the website to point B your device. Now, if you download the same file over a peer-to-peer -peer network, using a BitTorrent site as a starting point, the situation is strikingly different as the file will be downloaded to your device in multiple pieces coming from many other devices in the P2P network that are already connected. With this file, at the same time, those parts of the file downloaded to your device are sent to others who request it. And of course, through many tools, you can specify and customize the options for this process. To some extent, this situation mimics a two-way street. Why is peer-to-peer -peer useful? Peer-to-peer -peer networks have some characteristics that make them of practical and applied benefit. Its structural configuration makes stopping it, or thwarting its operations, very difficult. Even if one peer is shut down or blocked, the others continue to work and communicate, which requires shutting down or destroying all network peers if it is to be stopped from working. It has great scalability and scalability, as adding new peers is easy as there is no need to perform any central configuration on a central server. When it comes to file sharing, the larger the peer-to-peer -peer network, the faster the process. Because having the same file stored on many peers in the network means that when someone needs to download it, it will be downloading from many locations simultaneously. The need for a peer-to-peer -peer network. Without a doubt, the need for this type of network is not hidden from anyone. And perhaps the direct reason for switching to it and using it is the high cost of creating a server dedicated to network operations of other types, as well as the difficulty of managing these servers. In general, P2P networks, it is the cheapest way to distribute content because it uses the bandwidth of peers, the bandwidth or internet connection service and not from the content creators. What are the legal uses of the peer to peer network? Here are some examples of common use cases for P2 networks, home groups networks on Windows and similar. When you connect the Windows computers in your home to a home group, you are effectively creating a peer-to-peer -peer network between them. A home group is a small group of computers connected to each other to share storage and printers. This is one of the most common uses of technology. Peer-to-peer, -peer, some might say that home groups cannot constitute a peer-to-peer -peer network. Because the computers in the network are connected to a router, but keep in mind that the router does not have any procedures or processes to manage what computers in the group share, home sharing among themselves, and the router does not act as a server, but rather is more like an interface or gateway between the local network and the internet. Ad hoc networks. 
When you create a private network between two computers, you are effectively running a peer-to-peer -peer network. Share large files. Large files are often shared over the internet using a P2P network architecture. For example, some online gaming platforms use it to download games between users. Blizzard Entertainment distributes Diablo 3, StarCraft 2, and World of Warcraft using P2P, and so on. This is the case with the large company Wargaming, with its games World of Tanks, World of Warships, and World of Warplanes. Others, such as Steam or GOG, choose not to use P2P, and prefer to maintain dedicated download servers around the world. Windows 10 Updates Windows 10 updates are delivered from Microsoft servers, and through P2P. Linux Distributions Many Linux operating systems are distributed via BitTorrent downloads, which use P2P transfers, such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Monyaro. Security Concerns Like client-server networks, peer-to-peer -peer networks are vulnerable to security attacks and a source of some problems. According to the following points, since each device is involved in routing traffic through the network, hackers can easily launch denial-of-service DOS attacks. Software in a P2P network behaves similar to a client-server network, which makes peer-to-peer -peer networks more vulnerable to remote attacks. Corrupt data can be shared on P2P networks by modifying files already on the network to pass and deliver malware. Illegal uses Peer-to-peer -peer is undoubtedly a controversial technology, as it is widely used for piracy, with many websites providing suspiciously free access to copyrighted content such as movies, music, software, or games. While it in itself as a technology is in no way illegal, and has many applications and legitimate use cases that do not involve piracy, the way some people use P2P networks is what is described as illegal, and accordingly, when you use any of P2P operations or downloads, make sure not to engage in hacking or other use cases that may be punishable by law.